from the IHTN studios, it's Braves Beat. Good morning, Indian Hill, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm CJ Allen. And I'm Lainey Myers. We have some special news today, so let's dive right in. Whoa, 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 I thought oh, I no, was... Uh, no, it's just us. Wait, no, come on, man. All right, I'll see you later, CJ. Love you. Our Braves basketball team pulled away with an amazing victory this past Friday against Wyoming. Let's take a look at this team's plans for the upcoming game against Marymount. Marcus? Thanks, guys. And uh, I'm here with Coach Birch, and uh, this is Braves Beat. Um, so, Coach, tell me, how do you feel about last week's win over the Cowboys? Uh, you know, we feel real good about it, but, you know, What are you doing as a team to prepare for the Warriors? Well, you know what we're doing is we, we break things down, see what they do, uh, take away their strengths, and hopefully come back with the same energy we had the other day. I think if we come back with the same energy, we're in good shape. Guys, he said it perfectly. Coach Birch here, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Marcus, and good luck to our basketball Braves. With this upcoming break, many of you are looking for activities to fill your time. Let's check in with our movie man, Jacob Ward, to see what movies are coming out soon. Oh, thanks, guys. So, yeah, I'm here to talk to everybody about uh, all the movies that are coming out this upcoming winter break and everything that you should see. So we'll start with next Friday, December the 18th. We have Star Wars The Force Awakens coming out. This is perhaps the most anticipated film of 2015. The next week, we have The Big Short coming out on December 23rd, starring Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Brad Pitt. December 25th, we have four movies releasing, Joy, starring Jennifer Lawrence, Bradley Cooper, and Robert De Niro. We have The Revenant, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. We have Concussion, starring Will Smith. And lastly, we have The Hateful Eight, directed by Quentin Tarantino, who a lot of you might know for Django Unchained. So yeah, I encourage everybody to check out these movies because I didn't have a lot of time here. But uh, I'll throw it back to you guys at the studio. Thanks for listening. Wow, can't wait to catch a few of those flicks over the break. Oh, for sure. Good job, Jacob. All right, when we come back, leather chairs in all classes? I don't know, have to check in later. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from Bravesbeat at 3 in the morning. Who is this? It's Jake from Bravesbeat. Well, what are you wearing, Jake from Bravesbeat? Uh, khakis? She sounds hideous. She is. If you believe that leather chair thing, you shouldn't have. It's false. <laughs> but you're back with us now, so stay tuned. Let's check in with the weather. Joseph? Joseph, are uh, you there? What? Joe, you, uh, you can hear us? Joe? <laughs> Yeah. Well, guys, it's looking pretty cloudy out here. It's a nice Friday morning. As we take a walk over here, you can see we got some cloud cover. Nothing big, though. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Joe. With the exams next week, we want to make sure that uh, everyone is aware of what the schedule is. So let's listen up. Monday, classes are normal. Tuesday, however, Bell 1 exam is from 8 to 10, and Bell 2 exam is from 10.30 to 12.30. Wednesday, the Bell 3 exam is from 8 to 10, and Bell 4 is from 10.30 to 12.30. Thursday is the same with Bell 5 exam and Bell 6 exam, and then 7 is on Friday. So if you have a study hall 7th period, you're in luck because you don't have to come in that day. So congratulations. Speaking of exams, let's check in, check in with Jake Fry for a few helpful tips. Ah, yes, Not all knowledgeable Jake Fry, go. How have you managed to prepare for uh, exams? So it feels like you have to remind students a hundred times what their exam schedule is. Second is preparing them to study for vocab, which sometimes they take seriously and other times they don't. And then usually they have to write an essay for the midterm. Is it a misconceived notion that the majority of English students don't have to prepare for their English exams? Um, perhaps. No. Yes. Uh, some of them probably fake it till they make it. Yes, that's probably true. That, that's, how I, that's how I'm getting by senior year. And if you're on the bubble between an A and a B, you can always get your teacher a present. Happy exam setting. Back to you guys at the studio. 
Thanks, Jake Fry, so much. You are always Love in your light. You're, yeah. you're a great guy. Thank you. When we come back, change in the schedule? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, more when we come back. Tune in later. I'm not really handicapped. I'm just chaw. Sometimes you gotta go back before you go forward. I was driving a minivan before it was cool to drive a minivan. No one ever paid me to drive a minivan. Before we go, we'd like to thank you for tuning in to this season of Braze Beat. We hope you enjoyed it. Stick with us for next season. Don't forget to like our Braze Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. <laughs> Good luck on exam week, everyone. And as always, bye. Bye.